Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common issue that many React developers encounter. Our viewer is facing a frustrating error, cannot update during an existing state transition. Let's dive into the details of this problem and explore how to resolve it. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your questions, answering them, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you'll find that solution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. The error you're encountering cannot update during an existing state transition typically occurs when you try to call set state while another set state is already in progress. Let's take a closer look at your code. In your render method, you're calling select time frame directly in the onClick handler. This means the function is executed immediately when the component renders, rather than when the button is clicked. To fix this, you should wrap the select time frame call in an arrow function. This way, it will only be executed when the button is clicked. Now let's ensure that your select time frame function updates the state correctly. Uncomment the set state line to allow the state to update when a button is clicked. Finally, remember to check that your set active if function correctly reflects the active time frame based on the state. This will ensure your buttons visually indicate which time frame is currently selected. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To avoid the cannot update during an existing state transition error in React, use an arrow function or the bind method when passing values to the onClick function. This prevents the function from executing on every re-render, which can lead to repeated calls and errors. While these methods solve the problem, they aren't optimal for performance. Binding methods inside the render can create new instances on each re-render, which can slow down your application. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix the cannot update during an existing state transition error in React, avoid calling select time frame directly in the render method. Instead, use an on-click handler. In your select time frame method, Implement logic based on the key passed. This will help manage state transitions correctly. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question I hope, and you found that resolution. Guys, if this helped, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, have a good one.